Mercedes have had a less than ideal start to their season. Their driver, George Russell, during a media debrief has now spoken about their key weakness. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, George Russell reveals car's weakness, causing 99% of their issues. Russell began by explaining why he was able to outperform teammate Lewis Hamilton last week. On Lewis's side of the garage, they worked more conservatively on the setup than we did, and that was the difference. There is a fine line between getting the car in the right window. He then explained how difficult it is to get the setup right. There are so many factors at play when we're balancing it. We change the setup and we think it'll improve, and sometimes it makes it a little worse. He then revealed their key problem. We're still learning, and we're still far from optimal. If we solve the porpoising, we'll solve 99% of our issues. The faster you go, the worse it gets, so it makes it harder for qualifying, because we turn the engine up to maximum power and go quicker down the straight, which causes more downforce and causes more porpoising. So we almost need to preempt this issue. Also in the race, when you have the DRS closed, you have more downforce than you do with the DRS open, and that's another factor we need to consider. He signed off by being hopeful. We are struggling to find that silver bullet to resolve our issues, but I've got no doubt that when we do, we will find a chunk of lap time. But as I said before, it is easier said than done. Fast feed. Formula One has confirmed a third race in America that will take place at night in Las Vegas from 2023. The thing that Ferrari Charles Leclerc is happy about is not really the performance, but that I know exactly where I still need to work and what I need to improve to unlock more performance. Whether it will be enough or not to win the world championship, I have no idea. It's still very early on in the season. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff reiterated that they haven't done the best job in various areas. There are deficits that are bigger than the engine. Williams driver Nicholas Latifi accepts that he is struggling a lot with the balance of the car. It's two times I've put it in the wall, and it's not what I expect of myself. The car is still difficult to drive, but that's my job, and I have to see what I have to do to improve it. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner stated that you're seeing two fantastic young drivers that have raced each other probably from when they were about 10 or 11 going head-to-head in two very competitive Formula 1 cars. The racing in these first two races has been phenomenal. You can see there's a respect between the two of them and these cars seem to be easier to follow and race each other with. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo is excited to go home and compete there and for now we'll just keep chipping away. We can't promise amazing results yet, but we are going to keep at it. Will Charles Leclerc be able to sustain his championship challenge throughout the entire season? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.